Which you guys today would take a look at the Mikatronics R58S. This is an 8x64, so 8 gigs of RAM in this one and 64 gigs built in ROM with Android 12 pre installed on it. This is exactly what you're going to get inside the box. So you've got everything inside the box to get up and running. The unit comes pre installed with Android 12, but you can run Ubuntu and other types of operating systems on here. And this is your power adapter here. This comes with a UK plug on here with a barrel connector. Yours may be slightly different depending on what country you live in. We also have a USB to type C uh, cable here. Two antennas for the Wi-Fi connection. We also have a ribbon here with the SATA power and SATA connection on here. So you can put an external SATA drive on here. We have the controller here. Now this controller allows you to control the device. You can use a mouse and keyboard if you wish, but this will do it all for you. And we have also our HDMI cable and we have the unit itself. We're gonna take a look at the unit in more closer detail. Let's take a look at the back of the device and remove these two rubber protections here. Now the Wi-Fi on this is Wi-Fi uh, 6. It does support two dual band Wi-Fi antennas on here. We have our LAN port here, which is one gigabit Ethernet LAN, I think, on this one. And we have three uh, HDMI inputs on here as well. Uh, two of those are output, one of them input. And we also have DC 12 volt on there as well. Four little screws there to remove the actual faceplate so we can get access to the actual device. I'll show you that a little bit later on. Uh, aluminium chassis on this one here. Uh, DP port on here which is your display port and our SATA or external uh, drive here as well. And moving on down, nothing on this side. And on the other side, we do have our IR, which is for our remote and also reset. We have USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0s and a type C input here as well. And your recovery on here and your power button and four screws to remove the facial uh, plate on here as well. Plenty of ventilation on here. The actual chassis is made of aluminium and on the bottom we do have four rubber grommets and some mounting uh, points here. Now this one is the R58S which is 8 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage on this one. Now this does have also a video decoder which is 8K 10-bit decoder on here. We also have the Mali G610 uh, graphics on here with the Rockchip RK3588 octa core processor. We also have the memory on here as well, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to remove this faceplate so I can actually slide the top off and show you inside the actual device itself. It's passively cooled, and we also have our Wi Fi connections here for our Wi Fi antennas. Passive cooling on this one here does a pretty good at cooling the unit itself. Pretty well made, as you can see. On the other side here, we do have uh, some connections here, which we can put the ribbon cable on here and basically route this outside here. You won't be able to get any sort of drive inside here. It's too uh, small, but they do a bigger size if you want to uh, get an M.2 slot on the board, which has a bigger model, but this one doesn't have it. And uh, this is the actual specs here. I'll leave these up on the screen so you can read them. But this one comes with 8 gig of RAM, but they do 4 gig, 8 gig, and 16 gig versions. The EMMC uh, versions are 32 gig and 64 gig. This is the 64 gig version here. And it does support 8K at 60 hertz as well. But you will need to have a 8K monitor to display that. So you can either leave it sitting like this, or you can actually mount it if you want to to a monitor or a wall or something like that. Uh, but really, this could be used as your main computer if you wanted to. It's not going to be doing any sort of 4K rendering of videos, but it will certainly stream movies and stuff like that and do your general surfing of the web and do your emails and things like that. A bit of light photo editing. It does come pre-installed with Android 12, but you can install Debian and Ubuntu, and they've got these on their website as well and i think they may be looking at more other versions of operating systems as well but check their website out for more details we'll just do a quick 4k stream here of big buck bunny we'll be streaming at 4k at 60 fps and i just wanted to show you here 
uh, what the picture quality looks like. There is no stuttering whatsoever here. It really is smooth. And I do like the uh, playback on this as well. And this is running on Android. I would like to test this on Ubuntu or another type of distro. So we'll have a look at that in another video maybe. But you can see here, let me just get, skip this and see how quick it is. And you can see how fast that actually skips and catches up. And there's no stuttering here. Maybe the odd couple of frames uh, lost at the very beginning of play. But after that, it stabilizes. Here is the AIDA 64 uh, spec. So you can see the actual board here and everything else. The CPU is on here. It shows you all the specifications. You can go through these. I've already gone through these, so I'm not going to go through them all again. But basically, you've got your network here and Wi-Fi and things like that if you want to check that out. Android, you can see we're running Android 12, Snow Cone, and we also have the temps, which pretty much is a really good temperature for this device. I had no issues with temps or anything like that at all during my testing. So let's move on to some benchmarks and we'll do uh, Geekbench 5, and you can see single core 533, and the multi core is 2286. And it just goes to show you some of the results here if you're interested. Uh, in this, you can see them on the screen here. Pretty decent results. Let's just do the full benchmark here on the Vulcan score, 3,812. And that is a pretty impressive score for this particular device. The Antui uh, benchmark here, you can see 540,458. And you can see for the CPU and the GPU scores on the screen and the memory as well. So you can see all of those listed there. Pretty decent scores uh, for this particular type of mini PC. Let's move on to another test so you can see uh, some of the other results, which I wanted to do some little gameplay. So if you'd like to play games on the Play Store, you can just sign in. It does come pre-installed on here. No messing around trying to get that to work. It already installed. You just sign up and you can play games like Beach Buggy Racer and other types of games from the uh, Play Store, which is a nice thing to have. And we're going to move on to a, another emulation game here, Dirt 2. You can see pretty smooth, no problems at all playing Dirt 2. There's some more emulation here, Formula 1 uh, for PSP. Again, pretty smooth, no jerkiness here. Chains of Olympus, again PSP, silky smooth, running at three times upscale and three times rendering here. So times three for all of these games. And as you can see, no problem at all playing these. Now, it also will play PlayStation 2 games as well. If you wanted to play PlayStation 2 games, you can use emulation for that to play those as well. And I just want to say that this is a great little emulation machine. If you're looking for a machine to do emulation on, then uh, this one is a definite choice of mine. So that is pretty much it. That is the uh, Mikotronics R58S Mini PC. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll leave all the links in, in the video description if you're interested. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you on the Discord server or I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.